Hi everyone, this is King Me. As this time, I want to talk to you about Xiaomi AI Smart Glasses. Uh, since everyone should be in a wait and see period at the moment, this video will mainly tell you about some issues that I think need to be improved after use. First of all, in the glasses case, I didn't expect that there is no charging function before the release. It's sold at this price, and the glasses case doesn't have a charging function, which is really not Xiaomi. I thought that according to Xiaomi, Xiaomi's cost-effective route, at least in terms of charging, it will give us more diverse choices than Meta. Secondly, in terms of texture, I also understand why many people say it is worse than Meta. I personally feel that it is mainly to reduce weight. The plate used is not as thick as Meta, then the hinge part of the temple is really a bit loose, but I've read a lot of reviews and the focus is actually on the glasses themselves. Here, I want to quickly go over the functions of the glasses app first of all there is a recording transcription function here but everyone should pay attention that if you want it to summarize the recording sound cannot be too short then there is the simultaneous translation function I tried it for everyone here it works in Japanese but the response is a bit slow and not very accurate next is the calorie record which is also quite abstract it says that the bottle of oil in my hand is cooking oil and I drank a bottle of cooking oil tonight consuming more than 4,000 calories Batteries. Then there is the Zhao Ai conversation record where you can see all the records of your voice conversations with Zhao Ai. Then comes the more important glasses setting, so I will show you which parts of the glasses you can operate. Since everyone is very concerned about the video shooting capability, to be honest, after updating the new version of the firmware, I feel that its image quality is already very usable. I even feel that the image quality at night has almost surpassed the meta, reducing the jello effect and smearing problems, and the image quality has been greatly improved. Here I put two videos, one is a cloudy picture around 5.30 in the afternoon and the other is a picture at 1.30 in the morning, you can judge for yourself. In terms of the video function, is this pair of glasses worth buying? Of course, it doesn't mean that there will be no problems if you can take good pictures. <laughs> Here, I still think there are two places that can be optimized. One is the voice control problem. At present, this version can only start shooting with voice control and cannot end it with voice control. So I stopped recording. Wow. You see, it can be turned on, but not off. I don't know why. Another thing is that when transferring videos, there is a certain chance that the transfer may not be successful. Just like me, I couldn't transfer files for an entire afternoon, and then I went to Xiaomi after sales service and managed to download it. In this video, I have picked some important issues to talk about. In fact, there are still some smaller issues that have not been summarized. If you are interested, you can also follow me. I will update the next video after I have summarized all the issues. Okay, this is Kimi from Kimi Mobile. Thank you for watching.